and I frowned on that good note. Oh, we are? What? Am I in the wrong server? Because there's nobody in my game. You are oh, in the wrong server, my friend. Alright, you do it. It's all you. It's a knife round. We don't we don't cast knife rounds here. We don't do like the Korean Sato kit? Uh I don't do the Korean Sato kit. You're more than welcome to do it if you're uh, in the I'm right not server. There. No, I'm not in the right server. Yep. Rip. One thing we can't talk about though is in in so far in the season, both of these teams uh really struggle on CT sides. You know, Tempo Storm's at thirty eight percent on their C T win rate. Uh, affinities at 45% of their CT win rate, so this could be pretty even in terms of halftime scores. If if you know they haven't sh uh, you know shaped up how they how they want to play defense, you know their defensive woes, how they want to approach it. Well, I'm in the right server now, Moses. Perfect. Welcome back. I love I love having you. Not only in the right server, but just back here casting. Aww, it's good to be back. I missed my dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get things going. And again, it looks like uh, actually this time I was about to say again it looks like a fast intertake, but they've slowed it down a little bit on TS's side. In fact, they're going to work down this ladder, or at least okay. Never mind. The overlay throws me off. I thought they were going ladder. They are going to go in. So Stana's lock comes around. Arya gets up close, drops down. Frost takes this long shot with the USP. Massive damage dealt on the Stan is law, but. Gets inside the site regardless. They've got it smoked off well as well. Ooh, Davey on the exit almost takes down. I believe that was Ricks trying to get back into safety, but regardless, bombs down. Post plant situation is being set up, but they're not in great positions. Two of them stuck down inside the site. Shazam does pick off one. Hades will get Davey, but Fox, there it is. There's the double from him, and he is definitely Wiley tonight. As Ricks now finds himself in the one on two, has to start out the suffuser, gets the first. Now he can win this. He can easily bait this out. And Frost, does he stick it? He seems to want to go for it. No, gets off it late. Tries to get the shot out onto the opposing player in Ricks. And now he'll smoke it off. And Ricks is shooting far too oh. far to the right. He can actually stick this and he's going to get it. Well played. Using that cut smoke to his advantage and goes for the Cadian, but a little bit too late. The weird thing is he'd already peeked and knew where the bomb was the first time. But when he peeked the second time, he wasn't even in position, even if he was to the right. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. That, was a, that should have been a win there from Tempo Storm. But a nice play by Frost. He, he played so far back, and he said that he dealt massive damage. Wasn't able to get it. Looked like that should have been a kill. Of, uh, you know, about a, ten shots, ten different shots. Looked like they should have connected on the head. But he wins it in the end for his team, and a, and a massive defuse for him. Rix is a player that a lot of people want to watch out for this season. He was a beast and premier last season. In the first couple matches so far here in Pro League, he's he's kind of struggled, and and that round just shows you his struggles continue. So TS. Playing from the backside. Look at this scout setup right now. Frost with one, Davey with the. It's the Canadian version of whatever you guys say, the scout. But they're already gonna fire away. Damage done, and oh, you can't sit around and ramp. You've got to get down around the corner when you've got sniper rifles firing at you like that. So it gets caught off guard, and a little bit in his own footprints. Stanislaw lot takes down Fox, and Davey will close out the round. So Affinity lose two, but they still come out with the two nothing lead, and with the SMGs. They did lose one of the scouts. That's a bit of an investment. With the SMGs dropped, there's not a big deal because the, the M4 is still up. Yeah, and just the money that's made off the SMGs. I mean, yeah, they, they get they get out close up away from those scouts, but they just run into an MP7. So racks up the kills, racks up the money, able to drop some guns. They do bust out a, a second scout, so I don't know if they salvaged that or if they decided to buy up a new scout. That's kind of curious to me. But with the plant on the first round, this is going to be a full buy out of Tempo Storm. Look at this, look at this alley aggression from Jason. All right, Peaks, he mm -hmm. does grab one, he spots the info, gets traded off by Glorins. So it's going to be a four on four very early on. It's a good trade from Glorins to win that back because if they get that kill for free, not only do they get a lot of information, but they can adjust the defense accordingly. And now they have to split up and spread out. So the trade does still favor TS in this case. And they'll go back towards Spawn to collect this bomb. The question is, where do they want to take it? They do have Stan has lost Lily lurking in the upper position right now toward the B site. Davies waiting for him on the high ground, but Arya down low. They could still wrap on ladder. Fox is on top of green, though. He's going to be peeking toward the entry point, and F Frost is covering off at the Ivy. So they've got pretty much everything covered right now on the D side. Yeah, the issue is they can get smoked off playing this far back in the inner bomb site. So they're going to have to rotate. Arya and Connector's watching upper. He's not watching lower. He does swing to it, but it's smoked off there as well. Stanislaw does make a nice shot onto Arya, though. That's going to give him the entry. Bomb does go down. 
So far, no response coming out from Affinity as Shazam's gonna take down Davey. Finally, Frost gets back into him with the scout. Fox wants to come over. Nate goes out, but not deep enough. So Ricks, the second one does though. 38 HP now left for him, but he stays alive on the bomb, and that's crucial because now he can find Frost, and Fox realizes that Unfortunately, the big bad wolf has shown up into town, and he's one on three. He's going to run away and hide with his M4. Yeah, nothing really to do there. No one on three so far away from the bomb, even though he does have a kit. So this third round buy from Tempo Storm is going to work out in their favor. They get the entries, and they hold off the bomb, or the bomb retake. So nicely done by Tempo Storm in this round. It's, it's mostly just... They, they just got smoked off. We see a lot of defenses in the center bomb site. You know, they had it right on that second round. One guy playing close, one guy playing far up. You do need to have someone in that bomb site who can deal damage. But if you're both playing so far back and things get smoked off, especially without an AWP, you're just kind of giving away a free plant and a free, uh, free situation where you have to retake. So if you're going to play that passive, it's much like playing passive on Mirage A. You have to get the kills as they enter the bomb site. Good play by Ricks. Gets inside ladder room before Frost can even make himself in there. He drops down. But again, it was pistols, so... Didn't have much of a chance anyway, unless he got there soon. Shazam will catch out Fox. That's your rifle. That's a little bit different. Yeah, and Arya's trying to make this flank happen. Davey's gonna pick off Hades, though. Does get traded out, so can't make too much happen. And quickly down to this... Two on four, where Jason R is just trying to come in and deal the damage. He gets sprayed down, and now Arya is sitting behind a smoke at the bottom of the ladder. All he can do is, oh, they know exactly where he is. He eats that nade. 33. Make it zero. Stan, the man. Going to bring him back to 2-2. Two -two. Great response from Tempo Storm to go for that early AK buy and completely catch out Affinity. But they're in a position to buy again this round. And it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. No, I'm not really sure what they're going to do. No, they're going to save one more. That, yeah, that they just, are. Okay. That just I, means, whatever, that I don't just know means if that was my ops. overlay glitching, but I actually saw Frost with 5,000 when the round started for me, so I don't know if I had a, a delay or something. So that was weird. I for that sure thought possible. M4s were coming out. Yeah, it just says they want they want the AWPs as well. If they were to buy now, you know, with some players just over 3,000 to start that round out, uh, if they don't win that, they're in a tough buy situation for the rest of the half. So Fox will wait at the bottom side of the ladder this time. This is where we saw Polly playing a lot last match, and he got a couple good kills here and they tried to drop down. It's all going to be if they can pop flash their way down effectively, or if they just flat out ignore it. Oh, but that's a perfect pop flash. He gets so blind, but no one comes down with it, so... They slow things down, and, and they're just, yeah, they're just playing this very, very patiently. Shazam does get dropped by Frost, who gets traded out immediately, but this is pretty much a cleanup so far from Tempo Storm. Now, Rix will get back into Jason, and he'll find the last remaining player, Arya. And they'll take the lead. So Affinity slow things down in not only their gameplay, but in also their ability to close out rounds. They're going to fall a little bit behind, but here we go. Davey, auto sniper. First time we'll see it tonight on train. Yeah, waste no time. And even Frost is going to pick up the AWP. So the, the thing is, with these two, with this investment of these two guns, you have to let them deal damage. You can't let your Colts. They have to be very, very intelligent in how they want to be aggressive. Because if they get picked off, I mean, you're not, you're not letting these expensive sniper rifles come into play. Look at this smoke that Rix is throwing, actually. That's a very cool smoke. Davey wants to fire, does collect damage onto two. In fact, goes a little further as Fox closes out on Stan. That was the assist, and Shazam's also on one HP. Make it zero. Bye-bye, and through the smoke just to the right of Hades. This auto sniper is raining absolute havoc down as Hades on to red HP. Tries to push forward, he gets no scope. Davey's doing all the damage. Fox closes out, Rix, they'll get this to fuse, and... That'll shut him down. That's one way to do it. Shazam couldn't even get his op rolling. Yeah, those are actually three smokes in the bomb site that Anders actually talks about in one of his videos. It's a it's a smoke line right at the front of that bomb train to help you get the bomb planted. Unfortunately, with the auto sniper and the AWP, I mean they're just able to get so many kills out before they reach the bomb site. Even with smokes thrown, you know they pick two off, and then it's just an easy cleanup uh, for Affinity there. So nice thought by Tempo Storm, but not able to get any damage done. Well, the problem was there was a slight gap when they came in on Davey. So he just fired away and did, like I said, he did damage on the first one, took down the second, and then Shazam went for the repeat, couldn't do anything at all with the op to close him. So he, I mean, he basically shut down that push on the wall of smoke. 
As Aria is aggressive on the ramp at inner right now. What are they going to push? That's the big thing right now. That's the debate. Stanislaw seems to want to throw out some fire. And just that angle upwards of the ramp, the fire alone without smokes will prohibit enough vision to allow them to cross. That's pretty interesting to note, that teams can not only push players out of there, but they can also cross on the back of that of the flames. Yeah, and, and, and this inner bomb site has been played really passively for Affinity so far in this match. Only one player, Arya, playing close up, but Frost playing very, very far back in the connector, just spotting for a quick rotate. Fox pushes up on top of the train, gets a kill into team mid, and he's just going to take that advantage and fall right off. Fox wants to lurk out toward... Ivy now because his teammates dropped in that position, but he knows he can't. Davey's actually going to be the one to rotate over because as they were doing that, they realized they've got company coming over from ladder. It does get smoked. Stan is lost waiting, and Rix is going to rotate all the way back around to the main connector. So watch for a 2 2 or a rather 2 1 1, I guess you could say, split on the A site. As Lawrence is the first one out, he finds Fox. They want to go a little bit further. Hades is with him. Molotov off to close off Z connector. And what? How does Hades know? He turns back, takes down Davey on the back side of the smoke. What a shot from him. And Rix will work in toward the bomb site. Bomb's easily going to be placed down as Aria with this AK, or pardon me, AWP rather. Can't even get in position to take a shot as there's just so many smokes out in front of him and he at least <laughs> uses them to get himself out of there, but that's all he can That shot by Hades. <laughs> at that corner. He just Utterly pre-fires. Ridiculous. Like. Yep, so he eliminates that. Davey with the, uh, with the auto sniper falls hard. And now it's just clean up, so... Nicely done by Tempo Storm. They, they they get the equalizer after going a man down, and then they find the find the gap in the defense. They come out alley and just bully their way into the bomb site. So nicely done by them. And that's something that I think the only time I really saw this team play before this season was in Premier. So it, it's tough to know with the, with the kind of competition they're up against. But basically, Tempo Storm was able to just run around and do whatever they wanted. They just outskilled and outclassed everyone uh, in Premier. So uh, that's something from Hades where they have this structured mid-round where they slow things down and they group up that I don't think they would have had without him, to be quite honest. And he definitely brings a level of leadership. Good push here from Affinity. Two players out on Ivy, but that one flash actually caught out Jason R, so they had to delay their push. But when they do finally go, they make it count for at least one. Hades does get back into Fox, and somehow Jason R gets away, and Hades is on the lower of the HP, so they lose that exchange, but they have won trades elsewhere. As Frost finds himself below the ladder, and Arya's got to go all the way over to B because they did find one frag on the ramp. And that means Rix can just hold one player in position, and Hades and Shazam can try and work together to get inside a bombsite. The question is, which way do they go? It looks like they're going to walk it up to enter. So they're going to actually play this off with Rix. They want to group up entirely. Yeah, and once again, Frost is pushed up into the ladder room, and look at what this kind of does to the other player playing outside in A. That's Jason R. So many angles to watch. He was on top of a train, and he was forced to fall off, so... Frost is actually going to come up this ladder. Shazam can't spot him out, but he does win the battle with the Tech-9. That's overstaying your welcome. If you don't hit the first couple shots on the ladder, you're just getting desperate at the end. Yeah. You're just asking. The longer you sit there missing, the more time he has to line up his shot. So that's what happens as Rix will take down Arya. And now they've actually opened up the site as a result of that. So Davey does nothing to slow down the push despite that he was in good frank, frank, excuse me, flank position. Even if he pops back down the ladder... They can try and uh, just use that information. Jason does collect the first. Low HP on Rix. Now it's going to be Hades, but they go around each other as Hades comes back, side around the oil tanker. Shazam, though. The op we know and love him for. Takes down Jason on our... Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. If he pops up that ladder, gets in that little bit of a gun battle, just shoots, you know, five bullets instead of 20 and just falls back down. He's got the information. He allows his teammate outside to rotate over towards B, and they're still in a three-on-three -three situation. So he tries to make that connect. Doesn't happen for him. And Tempo Storm capitalizes on it. And that's kind of been the theme, is just Tempo Storm in these mid-round situations and the, and the couple gun rounds that we've seen. Uh, they've been able to just in the mid-round capitalize on a little bit of mistakes or the opportunity of gaps in the defense. Good entry from Ricks. Make it to take down Jason R. Looking for the third. Frost going to respond, though. So the raiding party is over, at least for now. Stannis Law is going to go in the same footprints. Tries to get this nade out. Mm, needs to be careful. Not only that, but as we can see, Arya is behind him. There's the shot, Frost. And good awareness turns immediately back. Doesn't get the kill yet, though. As Arya dots and darges back around. And there it goes. Finally, he drops. And Glorans, who we haven't talked about much, has been kind of good with only four kills. He ends the round with the shot on Fox. Yeah, and Santa's Law is a player for this Tempo Storm team that I've seen do do pretty well early on in this season and continues it here tonight at 11-5, and five, but...
It's been it's been I mean some great mid round calls like I've said a couple times from Hades. Also I've seen uh you know Rix has got some nice entries for him. So it's all Tempo Storm right now. Even when they when they go down early, they're able to equalize and they're able to find the right kills and they're able to to equalize their player counts and kind of go from there. So they're setting up for another execute. This is going to be that triple smoke on the bomb train again. Well, this time they get it off before they can get cut off by the entry. Frost tries to go for the jump onto Ticket Booth inside Z. That was interesting because it would have got him above. And good play by Rix. Reads that the rotation could be coming in from behind. Takes down Arya Shazam. Nade kill onto Fox. Rix wants to do the same in response. Takes massive damage. No, actually, it's fell off just a little bit too soon of Frost, but he still gets the kill with the AK. This brings us back to a three on two, still favoring the planet T side. So Davey has to find a kill right now, does it? Spray control and Davey walks back out to a bullet in the face, brings it back down, and they're gonna smoke this off. Davey's gonna try and go for it. Davey's gonna get Glorns as well, so he has a chance to hold this. Rix does find a kill, comes around the corner, spamming through the edge of the train. He has to get the kill. Oh, just barely. Just barely in the nick of time, takes down the final player. That was as close as you'd like. You think Rix was scared that it was just gonna be deja vu to pissed around all over again? He wasn't gonna be able to find that kill. He's actually very fortunate. That would have been a defuse if he'd had a I mean that that was the time limit there, so. Very, very fortunate that Diffuse didn't go through. But that's, we, we saw that that same attack earlier that got shut down when Davey had the auto sniper. They also had an op in hand, and it's actually, that round, they didn't seem to have any kind of a response without those scoped weaponries. Shazam this time has his op back up. Tries to find an entry, looking for every angle possible. In fact, jumping up to see if anyone's on top of the trains as well, because hasn't spotted one either side. Stanislaus crossed over. They try to push up behind him, but he's already crossed over at the upper site. So he'll collect two. And Frost, just a little bit late to get on his heels, won't be able to do anything about it. And he's the only one left now. So solid anti-eco so far for Tempo Storm. And aside from giving up one round, they've pretty much collected seven in a row. So seven of the last eight. Yeah, and, you know, I highlighted the struggles these teams have had on the defensive side of maps. Obviously, they hadn't played Train quite yet, mostly Inferno and, and Cash and uh, maybe Overpass, but both these teams kind of have some defensive issues, and right now, Tempo Storm is just abusing Affinity's problems on the CT side. So here's Davey with that Auto Sniper once again. That's what they were able to get that, just that single gun round off of on the CT side was, was when he had the Auto Sniper and Frost with an op, so they have both those weapons again, but heavy, heavy investments. It's Jason R out toward Long. See if he takes a right-hand turn and heads down the alley. He doesn't, so up on top of the train, a little bit closer angle, but Glorens is already vastly approaching on his position. Manages to get the headshot. A lot of damage dealt in response, though. So he's got to be careful when he tries to take the battle with Fox and unfortunately can't do anything about it. Stanislaw almost got two as Arya crosses over in front as he tried to back himself through his own flash. Arya is coming around. Yeah, this is an interesting position to be in. Manages to take down Hades, and now they've got it back to a two-on-two. -two. Molotov's going to go out and over top. Shazam still looking through the smoke. Can't hit the first shot. And the bomb's not yet close enough to the site to get a position for this plant. Yeah, they've got to be careful, though, especially Rex Frost has found a position in Alley 1, I believe that is. That is Alley 1. You are correct. Nice. You are learning. Crocodile Dundee has left the outback and joined the train yard. <laughs> But they look at how you play the smoke. Yeah, I was just looking to play that smoke, and Rix actually does find him as it clears. He gets a second one. A nice play by Rix in the two on two. Are you grading the way now? Yeah, he's on 15. That was that was really good because he could not cross. Like you said, that that alley was completely covered off until he smoked it. Yeah, it was a good play by Arya. He delayed it so long, and it just unfortunate for us wasn't able to find anything. It gave him time to get in position, but Rix with just a great play kind of uses the smoke that that Arya threw to his own advantage, finds two kills. Well, Tempo Storm definitely looks like a pretty solid roster right now with the addition of Hades, Shazam. Let's see how this goes for them, but Affinity Gaming with Frost so far, he's still got the LG uh, avatar in his Steam profile for Luminosity. That's going to have to be changed soon, I have a feeling. But trades out so far, Fox down, Stannis Law joins him in the grave, although... They're not quite in the same grave. One's going to be uh, draped in a flag for honorably service, and the other's going to be um, frowned upon in the media for being a terrorist. But Arya takes down Rix. The good guys will prevail. At least so far they're trying to with only these pistols. Arya will pick up the AK-47, so at least it's a rifle to work with as Lawrence will take down Davey. That brings us back to three on three. 
And Arya's got to find something. He managed to pick up the AK-47, but he's so far away from the action. It's going to be all up to these pistols on Frost and Jason R. As they come outside, Glorance takes out Jason R. Frost is in a tough position. Oh, nice shot. He grabs one, but he's got to delay a little bit longer in this 2 on 2 He's going to jump up into CT Heaven just to get away, but he gets spotted. Hades at the last second catches his toes. And Shazam wisely watching the flank takes out Arya. That's going to be round 10 for Tempo Storm. Double digits in only 13 rounds. That's uh, an impressive start for a T side. Both both maps tonight, we've seen decent T performances, and arguably you could say the CLG versus Mouse Maz. It was a skewed matchup, and it was almost kind of expected that CLG would uh, would take that one. But Tempo Storm, like you said, in Infinity, this is a rematch of the Grand Finals last year in the playoffs for the Premier Division. Which, uh, for those of you who weren't following ESEA last year or, or don't don't remember the format before the Pro League was introduced, that was essentially your second highest division. So on still paper, is. these two teams, well, exactly, okay, my, oh, my mistake, Aria. it still is, but, but after the invite, so. Ariat does open the first one, so, but essentially, you would have thought on paper it was close, of course, the roster changes so far seem to be favoring TS, but it's Rick Stanislaw that lead the way, the two stable mates of last year, so. There hasn't been a whole lot of contribution, although Shazam's doing fairly well, it does have 11 to his name, and Hades is the big difference, that's your leadership. And the leadership makes a huge difference. Yeah, but look at this. They're, they're going to do a delayed execute over mid. And Fox is pushed up close. He's going to be able to grab one. Oh, Shazam. Nice no-scope. Is he going to be able to find a second one? He does. Davey tries to swing out. He gets taken out. So there's the openings from Shazam. And they're going to get the bomb down in the smoke again. Oh, the spam shot. What? Nicely done, Arya. Through the window. You shall not pass into this booth. We're sold out. As Hades now finds himself one on three, can't do anything. Frost will find him in the end, and that's going to make it four now for Affinity. That spam shot, that was just, that was pretty cool to see, I have to say. <laughs> that was so calculated, too. He just, like, leisurely walked over and just, just got stoked. So I'm he's like, this sure is the spot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure as well, by the addition of that window and actually hollowing out the physics model for that that uh, that building, it's, it's a lot more spammable than it used to be. Because in the original version of Train, you could hardly wall bang through that. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. That, that's a change in the map that uh, we get to see work. That's and I love, uh, I love now look at this triple op setup here. Frost, Arya, AWPs, Davey with that auto sniper again. Good push from Arya. Oh, Shazam's just waiting for that. That's a really aggressive push without a pop flash or anything. That That's literally like a gamble, like saying, okay, they're either going to be up close and I'll get the killer. I just want to see if they're there. But when you, that's, that's almost throwing your life away at that point if you're going to do it completely naked on the peak. Oh yeah, it's a 50-50 for sure. Shazam wins that battle, but look at the defense now in the, or the Dave. bomb site playing so far back. Frost with the op, and it's Davey with the auto sniper, so that's why they're playing so far back. They have the range advantage. Smoke out on upper, though. That prohibits Davey's vision, so he has to get off the range and change his angle to try and get in on top of this bomb, and Hades is going to go for this bomb plant anyway, despite that the flames are out and in place, so this bomb's in a really compromised position to hold from upper. In fact, oh, yes, you can. You could just barely see it from upper, so... They could get into a post plant situation in that that's a, that uh, that position, excuse me. But it's only two up right now for Affinity. They're gonna fight themselves even just to make that happen, and they're doing it so far. Jason's gonna get one. Fox now finds two on Shazam, but down to Glorin, and here we are in this one on one. So we may see exactly that, except it's not because Glorin's is still down inside the site. He's playing close to the bomb, and it's a fake on the defuse. He's given up the gig. He's gone for the run, but he still gets the kill on Fox. So 11 for Tempo Storm. What a great half from them. Yeah, it really was. And you could just kind of see, you know, there was a lot of aggressive plays. That, I mean, you mentioned that one by Arya to peek that upper, but just as, as the scoreline got very spread out, you saw a lot of very, very aggressive plays out of Affinity, and they just kept getting pushed. So Tempo Storm puts together a great half. Shazam had some nice kills with his AWP. Uh, but the big story, Rick's 16-8 and eight right now, being a monster for his team. Shazam's at 15-9, and nine and Stanislaw at 14-10. and 10. So those three players, you know, within a couple kills of each other, playing very, very well. Apparently as well, by the way, in, in in the first two maps that these two played against each other in Sibo, Affinity only won 8 of 26 CT side, sided rounds against uh, against Tempo. So this isn't almost um, unsurprising in a way. This is kind of how things have been well, going with them all season. And Tempo Storm has the same defensive issues, so I, it wouldn't be super surprising to see a comeback. But, I mean, here's what's going to hurt. Arya's already at 2 HP in this booster mm -hmm. round. Yeah, that's a huge detriment. It's almost worth him throwing out the Hail Mary of going in early and just finding a read on the angles to try and get a trade. They almost have to play him as bait at this point. 
But exchange is going out. That's a really long exchange, but Fox doesn't care how long it is. He still gets the headshot with the Glock, and Frost now finds Stan as lost, so they're making up for that lost ground, but Shazam takes two back. And this brings us back down to an even lower situation. Frost is going to eat that nade, and Aria still survives on that 2 HP. In fact, is now the solo player as Fox drops down, so let's see if we can see a magic trick. Let's see if he can uh, make the rest of them disappear with only 2 HP. If he loses one to each, it still wouldn't be enough. He has to play his trigger discipline, and he can't get the shot. Oh, that's so disappointing. He had the lineup, but yeah. unfortunately, the Glock from that range is just so inconsistent. Yeah, he found the fight. He wouldn't get it. Exactly. Found the angle, walked out behind. Yeah, and I'll tell you, that round was won by Santa's Law. He didn't get any kills, zero kills, but he threw a nade that, that did so much damage to two of the Affinity players who had bought nades to smoke off lower and smoke off upper. Uh, he just he just blew him up to red HP, and Shazam was able to easily clean him up. So Santa's Law with a fantastic nade, but no kill, really put his impact on that round. Fast rush looks like, at least right now, toward inner. Nope, slow it up. They'll go down the stairs passively. They just get in. This is almost 1.6. Run until this point, and then they can't hear you and start walking here. Fox goes for this crossover. Smoke does come out onto the upper ramp. That has a slight gap in it, I think. Let me just check that. Oh, nice quick. nade. Uh, counter nade reversed through the window from Stanislaw on the inside bomb site. Takes Arya. Uh, they have nades. Arya and Fox and, and Frost. They have smoke, so they're, they're planning a smoke execution on this B bomb site. Hope to see what they have prepared. Shazam's playing far back in the upper ramp. And that's, yeah, that's the name we were talking about. You can bounce that down. That's the one I mentioned where I wanted to know if they switched up that hitbox, but Stannis Law gets up close, Shazam. That's a kill, team kill. I'm sorry, Corey. Shazam does make up for it, takes down Arya. <laughs> yeah, Rex how fitting. It how fitting is it that Shazam gets the team kill? <laughs> oh, it's perfect. But Tempo Storm now on to 13 rounds. Only three to go before our second map of the night is done. But don't forget we have Nihilum's ESEA debuts coming up next. And that's going to be... Uh, debut. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be awesome to watch. But, like you said, commanding lead here for Tempo Storm. And another save round out of Affinity. They're just going to come out mid. So Rick spots it, throws an aid, uses his Colt, comes over to Sandwich. Close lines the first one. He's got a teammate backing him up down the long haul. He sprays down a second one, pulls out the pistol, and gets dropped by burst fire from Fox, the fantastic Mr. Fox. And Glorens, he'll get him. Fox goes down. He leads the way. By the way, he leads the way by quite a bit. 8, 8, 9, 9, 15 for Fox. So he's in the same form that he was last season. This is another one of those players that could have one of these breakout opportunities come their way. Maybe in the next NA roster shuffle if that occurs. Hopefully not too soon, but uh, he's definitely a player that deserves some credit. Kind of like Desi and Nitro when they came on, um, I guess, uh, in the latter half of last season and everyone kind of took notice. Now it's Gloren's turn to bust out the auto sniper. He sees Davies and he's going to try and do one-up him a little bit here. And... It's a passive setup from uh, from Affinity. They have two players, it looks like, going in towards those white halls. Oh, and there's some set smokes coming over the walls for a team mid attack. One player gets naded down early, though. Fox does get flashed off. They can't hold this direct angle. And Glorns just fires away. They walk into it. Rick takes the opportunity to get up close. Fox finally responding into him, but Shazam's already found Jason R before that. So down to a four on two. Affinity, very fragile income right now. They reset that money bonus. Oh, wait. Sorry. Never mind. My graph hasn't updated, so I don't know what round that was. I'll have to press tab. Yeah, they haven't done anything for that yet. But it is slowly accumulating. Davey's going to take down Shazam, bring it back a little bit closer, but that bomb's still down in perfect vision from Glorens, and there's that auto sniper, like you said, firing away. And Davey's all that's left. They've pretty much narrowed down his other options and figured out where he was. They back it off, so Glorens not covering that secondary angle, and Davey wins the battle between Stan and he. But again, Bomb's still well and truly out of reach for him. Yeah, and just flashbangs and smokes being dropped into this choke point. Davey's got tough work to do. He comes out, Hades has a great angle for it. Just blows him up. And the difference between the defenses there on Tempo Storm and Affinity, when Tempo Storm ran those ex those similar executions out T-middle with the smokes over the wall, they didn't come into contact. They didn't really come under fire uh, until they got out to, like, the electrical box and, and approaching the bomb train. That round, you know, Rix is aggressive on the top of the train, and they have an auto sniper holding the angle from far back. So, I mean, Affinity wasn't even able to make it out of the T-choke. They just shut them down before that strat could even come to fruition. So uh, either they didn't have a smoke that Tempo Storm did that was blocking off an angle, or, or they just got crushed. And, and it continues. Glorens finds that very same angle, takes one out. 
That angle is new. That's alley. like remember we were talking about this being the angle with the auto sniper <laughs> as Frost drops as well. He just lines them up. That angle is a little bit different because we never really saw that inside the sight angle before. Rex takes Jason R and it's all left to Davey. One versus five. And uh, we're looking at a, a very impressive performance from Tempo Storm. You said they might be the best of the upcoming teams this year, the move up teams. And they they definitely, they definitely, they definitely have the most individual skill of all the move up teams. Even even before some of these roster changes, they they still kind of held that crown of individual skill. There's there's other teams who are fantastic, uh, but top to bottom, you know, upon being moved up, Tempo Storm I think was the strongest. And so that I, I mean that's what let them go undefeated in Premier. Coming into this season, I think they went one and zero in this pro league against another fellow move up and they were like at that point once they had won that match they had won like 23 ESCA matches in a row just because of how dominant they were in Premier. Davey's dragging this on for us at least. Giving us some time to chat. He's going for the dream. It's never over till it's over. We might as well save. I think he could use this gun next round. <laughs> Well, he will get Shazam, who's had a fairly good game, it has to be said. 12 deaths and 20 kills for him, but Stan's going to close it out, and that's map two in the books for us tonight, our second matchup. Well played, Tempo Storm. It has to be said.